Estimates have Hurricane Laura leaving behind up to $20 billion in losses for our neighbors east of Beaumont and into Louisiana. In fact, the Louisiana National Guard is working nonstop right now, handing out 700,000 meals and more than 250,000 gallons of water already. And now 16 deaths are being blamed on that hurricane. And tonight we're hearing from storm evacuees who are now here in the Houston area, and they're having trouble finding shelter. Channel 2's Michael Aparty live at a motel up in Tomball speaking to people who really don't have a home to return to right now. Michael? Chris, the family we spoke to behind me, this is one of two hotels that they have checked into since they evacuated, but now they're getting concerned about money and also how long they may be able to stay. Delphine Daly and her family have spent the last few nights at this hotel in Tomball, but she doesn't know how much longer they'll be here. We're not sure what we're going to do. To be honest with you, the family of nearly two dozen, including kids, evacuated their homes in the Lake Charles area ahead of Hurricane Laura. They said they initially paid for hotel rooms in Austin, but with cost adding up, Delphine says the Red Cross told her to head to a Hyatt in Houston. When she got to that property, the representative that was standing in front of me said, We have hundreds of people in the lobby, hundreds outside. We have no rooms. We've been out of rooms. The family found nine rooms at the Staybridge Suites where they've been the last two nights. We're running very low on funds at this time. Some of them are completely depleted. And for now, Delphine says going home isn't an option. We went back to view our homes and my home is a total loss. Uh, it has to be rebuilt totally. She lives with her daughter who shared these photos of the damage. Delphine says the homes of other family members are fixable, but currently without water and power. Tonight, the Red Cross told me that it's contacted the family and made arrangements for them for shelter, but Delphine says that's not the case. She did say that her daughter's insurance company called to say that it would pay for two rooms for 14 nights, but they're trying to figure out how to cover the rest by tomorrow. We're live tonight in Tomball. Michael Lopardi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.